Old Golden State had a 58-49 lead. Clay Thompson leading the way for Golden State with 13. American Express halftime report from Studio J here in Atlanta. Ernie Johnson, Kenny, Shaq, and Charles. Tale of the tape in the first half. Look at those turnovers. 13 by the Rockets leading to 20 Golden State points. Houston no points off the four Golden State turnovers. And it's a nine-point lead in a game in which the superstars spent some time in the locker room with injuries. Steph Curry and James Harden. Let's start there. Well, let me go here. Man. Let me go to the board. Go to the board. Let me go to the board. Because most of the time I go to the board, it's all about X's and play, O's. X's and O's. But the series last year was dictated on things like this. And now, if you have your best players not being able to play, here's Steph Curry, freak injuries. This has been going on throughout the playoffs. So if you have freak injuries, here's Steph Curry getting his, his, his injury, going to the locker room. All of a sudden now, we don't know if he's going to be able to play with the same intensity, but he did come back. This is what could separate the Rockets right here and them. And then Harden getting poked in the eye. Bleeding from the eye on an uh, inadvertent chuck. Yeah. Inadvertent finger accidental. by Draymond Green. <laughs> accidental. By Draymond First of all, Green. that's what inadvertent means, fool. No, 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 it's a little bit of both. <laughs> but we have the bleed in there. Hey, what would you have said to him, Shaq, right there? I would have said, hey. Take the night off, rest your eye. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this this could be it. We don't have to go through X's and O's because if these two guys don't play, it changes the dynamic of the series. It changes the dynamic of how you run your offense and what your defensive schemes are. So well, there's it, nothing it to do. It hurts but the Rockets more. Oh, than, without question. Yeah, no question. But Dislocated. Finger, that's left, no big deal. Left middle finger. Yeah, that don't mean anything. They're just going to be sore tomorrow. That, that's no big deal. Uh, but, you know, the Rockets going to be really disappointed at 13 turnovers. Um, no doubt. I mean, you can't turn the ball over. They did two things that were bad. Uh, the turnovers, obviously, but there was three plays where they scored and gave up a layup within five seconds. That mm -hmm. cannot happen. I mean, Reggie did a fantastic job of talking about it. I mean, they got a basket, and the, war the Warriors were laying it back in within five seconds. That cannot happen. Crazy thing was Harden goes out with the eye injury. They outscore Golden State 23-19. to 19. Austin Rivers was a big... Uh, part of that hitting three pointers. In fact, Austin Rivers in the first half has 11 points. And PJ so PJ Tucker hit two big threes yeah, also. But uh, they kept him kept him hanging around and cut the gap to 36 31 by the time Harden returned to the game. Uh, but again, turnovers by Houston. And if and if you continue at a pace like this, you got no shot. Yeah, with so much going on, you know, officiating, am I getting fouled when, when I'm shooting? You lose a game on the road. When you come in for the second game, you got to concentrate, honey. Concentration is the most, you know. So right now, I don't think they're really concentrating. Mm. Come on, Capella. Ernie no, no, said that. your name last week. Let's go to work. James, you're doing too much. You know Scott Foss is right there. You got to, you know, be a little smarter. You got to take care of the ball. 13 turnovers at Golden State. You'll never beat Golden State like that. Right there, Chris Paul oh looking gosh. for the contact. You know the ref's not going to call it. Scott Foss is out there again. Another crazy pass. Defense there, you d definitely have to concentrate when you're playing in a hostile environment in front of a hostile fans. And Steph Curry was going on. And Despite what's going on, you still got to concentrate. The thing that's interesting, I, and we said this before, any time you play on the road, the two most important stats was was the uh, Rockets are getting killed at turnovers and offensive rebounds. Those, that's the difference in the game. When you play on the road, you can, especially against a team like the Warriors, but any team you play on the road, if you control the ball, the boards and don't turn the ball over, you got a chance. And they're getting killed on the boards and turn the ball over. That's why they're down. I know you said no big thing on Steph Curry. Let me ask you, as a guy running the point, and I know it's your not not your shooting hand, but how's it going to impact you, ball handling wise and everything? It, I, it, it does. He will get used to it. You know, if it if it is not in pain. But having tape on your hand, what it, what it does is you don't feel the basketball the same way. So when you're shooting the basketball, if you saw his first couple of shots, he kept looking at it because you don't feel the ball when it, when it comes. Because you don't always catch it with your right hand. You catch it with your left and you're ready to shoot. And you don't feel it. It just slides off. So it is a different feeling. But he's the greatest shooter possibly in the history of the game. He's going to figure it out. And he's going to be able to knock shots down. Uh, Houston outshoots Golden State in the first half and uh, 10 threes compared to four for Golden State, but it is a Golden State lead at the break, 58 to 49. As we head to break, a reminder. And I wouldn't say that. I just think that uh, 
you know, he has a style of play, and it might not be what everybody might like to see, but it's been effective, and I don't think he's been cheating the game at all. Kevin Durant on James Harden. Those guys center stage as the Rockets and Golden State play game two later tonight on TNT. It's going to be the most scrutinized game in NBA oh, no, in a long time from no an official doubt. standpoint. No doubt. I can't wait to watch the game, to be honest with you, because there's a lot of pressure on the officials. I don't I don't think so, honestly. I think the officials... Just going to call them both. They, they, they've, been in, they, they've been in NBA finals. They've been in... They've had games where they've had bad games and been able to bounce back. I don't well, you can't have two bad games. But I don't think they're pressurized to think that these NBA well, you, you, first will of all, not be up to the test. Well, yeah, were they bad last week? It, 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 it has nothing, to do, it has nothing to do with fine. being up to the test. Yeah. You have to factor in the animosity between Scott Foster and Chris Paul and James Harden. You have to factor that in. Those guys killed him and got uh, fined this season. And he, he said, we do not like him and he hate us. The only thing we want is players is consistency. I don't care who's calling the game. If if I'm under his legs and you call a foul, when he's under my legs, call the same foul. Yeah, but they didn't That's do that. There are going to be a lot of eyes on that play the first time it happens in want. this game later tonight on TNT. Fresh is self-induced. Bucks at home and trying to even up the series after dropping the opener by 22 and Chris Middleton has got 20 in the first half at 16 in the opener. Milwaukee on top by four. Good one going there at five serve form. It's the American Express halftime report. Ernie Johnson along with Kenny Shack and Charles here inside Atlanta's Studio J. The American Express teammates from the Milwaukee side. Chris Middleton with his 20 on seven of 12 shooting. Giannis has 13 on three of eight into the line. For 10 of them, it hits seven. Talk about Chris Middleton, Chuckster. Well, the first, first half all, he's at. I, I've told you, he's an all-star. He's played very well. But I've, I've told you all along, the key to the Bucks is going to be Eric Bledsoe. And yeah, we said before the series, you said he's going to at least have to hold his own. He's got, like, Kyrie. he only had six points the other day. Yeah. Can't have that. But the thing he can do, he doesn't have to score a lot of points. He has to speed up the tempo of the game. Kenny always talks about what makes Steph terrific, Rondo in his day. They control the tempo of the game. The Milwaukee Bucks have arguably the worst half-court offense in basketball. You give the ball to this kid who's a hell of a player and say, score. Like, listen, 105, listen, I, I didn't go to class a lot in college, but 105, 105 ain't going to work. <laughs> in no basketball, in no – Michael Jordan couldn't score 105 or 5. Kevin Durant can't score 105. But to me – They've got to get Giannis the ball in better situations. Run a pick and roll, and what you do in a pick and roll, you force them to either switch or double and gives him an advantage. But if you just give him the ball and have him going one on five, that's not going to work. Yeah, we've heard uh, Marv Albert and Chris Weber talking about Boston building a wall against uh, the Greek freak. Building a wall is always a bad idea, America. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> as great as Giannis is, at some point, he's going to figure out, going to have to figure out when you're the focal point, sometimes you got to do other stuff. Chuck's make make great point right here. This is what he's been doing all year. He's going to push it and push it. But if you're going to play guard and you see that the defense is back, do something else. Don't try to spin. Because, you know, when you're in the playoffs, and this may sound weird, you don't want to, you know, be able to score. You, you don't want it to be that hard. You know, Chuck knows what I'm talking about. You want it to be effortless. You want it to be flawless. But right now, the defense is waiting for him. I'm actually surprised that, you know, Bud has, has not recognized this and, you know, call like a, you know, cross screen for him or pick and roll like Chuck has said. No question. Right now, he's working too hard to get these these, these, these buckets. But, like I said, when you're the focal point, sometimes you got to do other things. you got a lot of shooters out there. Give it up, come down, and then get it later. You just can't dribble one on five and the defense is sitting there waiting for you. And then when you get it on the post, you got to go quick. If you get it on the post and turn around to face, face up, now the defense can set and see what you're doing. So you're going to have to... And, and how good has Horford been? Al Horford's just the, comp, the consummate pro. Mm. Uh, this game is simple. Never done anything that flashy, but, man, he's he's done a great job. Timely offense and the defensive job. He's, he's yeah, creating listen, some problems. But that's He's not it. working hard to get his points. Yeah, so but let me tell you this, that. though. He should not be able to guard Giannis one-on-one. -on -one. Well, he isn't. They feel that. I, I know that, but I'm saying everybody's saying he's playing great defense. Yeah. It's more bad offense. And I hate when Giannis brings the ball up the court. Because they're already basically playing the zone. That, that yeah, that's a mistake. Yeah, you you bring up Horford and you brought up Bledsoe, and you know besides just being a three point fest, you know the the one thing that I noticed is what Kevin Love was for the 
Cleveland Cavaliers in their run and what Klay Thompson is. They're the third scorer. They're the scorer that wins that battle. They won that battle every time, and that made them the NBA champs. I see you, Ernie. I saw you leave. I saw you in. It wasn't me. I see you. Yo, you're halfway out of your chair. No, it wasn't me. Hey, I see you leaving. No, I, I was paying Ernie attention was leaving. to him. Hey, look, I already whipped you. That's right. I don't me need too. Again. Nobody, That's right. Uh, remember, you're on a one-game winning streak. That's hey, not no a streak. That's, hey, that, nobody's trying either. But this is early in the game. You have to win that battle when you're the third scorer, or whoever that might be. They have to win the battle. And early in the game, like, like you said, the last game he had six points. But the first play of the game, he is being aggressive. But basketball is about great decisions. Do you make a great decision while you're being aggressive? And no, he didn't. First play of the game, off to the races. I was worried about him. But then, freeze it here. It's like, am I going to not be aggressive now? Am I going to be nervous? No, Bledsoe says I'm not going to be that. I'm going to get to the rim. I'm going to make a better decision and get to the lane and finish it this time. But on the other end, we talk about Al Horford winning this battle. Freeze it here. He says, I'm going to stop. I see Lopez stop. Good decision. So I'm going to stay out for three. No one's coming. No rotation from Bledsoe because he doesn't want to leave Kyrie. Boom. Knockdown. Next time he says, I'm going to, this is basically the handoff is the same as the pick and roll. He goes, sets it again. Freeze it here. Now he looks and he says, oh, he's coming to help too much. Now I can die. So the decisions that he's making is just great. And now whoever wins that battle is going to win this game. Third scorer, that's going to be the guy who wins it all. Those are some white pants, man. Well, these those actually, are, those they're things, they're are, those things are glowing out yeah, there. They're actually man. excel in person. Next to the wall. They excel in person. A coach's job is to put you in position to be successful. They're not doing that with Giannis. They're putting him in a position to try to have to go. Like, he's working so hard. And they've got That's to do. It's never a good thing. It's never a good thing. 59-55 uh, is the Milwaukee lead. Happy Isaiah Thomas celebrating number 58. Happy birthday, hey, Zeke. Happy birthday, Zeke. Great Zeke. job. Great job today on television uh, for the other network, Zeke. You were fantastic. <laughs> yeah, you know what that's all about. Yeah. Uh, happy birthday to the great Isaiah Thomas, the greatest little man to ever play the game. I agree with that. You're watching the American Express Halftime Report. American Express, the official card of the NBA.